I feel like a less cool version of Brandon McDonald. I'm filming during the day, water instead of whiskey. No horses, but I have kids playing in the background. Oh, well, at least I tried. Well, hello everyone, thanks for coming outside me today. I wanted to give a shop update video because uh, lots of you have been asking. The shop is making some excellent progress. However, I filmed two that I was gonna kind of glue together and I used my DJI Osmo, which is like a GoPro style thing. And the audio on it is complete garbage. Um, I don't know what's happened. Um, some of you, my turkey hunting footage, which never made it to YouTube, also was complete garbage. Uh, hence why it never made it onto the channel. Uh, so I'm gonna kind of dub over using <laughs> this poorly lit situation here uh, so that way you can get an update on the shop and kind of talk about some things that have happened behind the scenes a little bit in general uh, so first things first the range um, as you can probably see from right now I'm covered in paint oil and latex base uh, so that's been coming along uh, we're working on getting the HVAC downstairs in the range so we can run all that ducting uh, build the range wall uh, so that way we can have our butts down there we will have uh, year-round we will have six lanes so uh, um, we can run 12 shooters at a shooting time if necessary. Uh, we'll have six lanes with the option to wheel out a fourth bale to have eight lanes, which will give us 16 shooters for those big events. So that's really cool. That's coming together, 20 yard indoor range down there. Uh, we're using big shot targets. We're big shot target dealers, so you can come in and buy those for your crossbow, your compound, your trad bow, whatever. Um, but then also we'll be using their four by four range butts. So I'm really excited about that. I shot them down at the Great American Outdoor Show. Really like the quality there. And of course, a PA based company out of Downingtown. Um, and then uh, as we progress uh, upstairs, the flooring is getting done. So that's why currently I'm here at the house and not at the shop in full speed ahead mode. Uh, we are waiting. The floors uh, got two coats of a specialized polyurethane. It's real clear. It's not the amber color. Uh, and that takes five days to cure. So uh, I'm off the shop floor, at least upstairs for now. The basement range is painted. It's got its two coats, so it is done. Um, but you'll notice in some of the footage here, and I'll throw some pictures as well up on the screen of other stuff that uh, uh, me and another guy did. My buddy, good buddy Mark, who's a uh, longtime friend of mine. Uh, he came over and helped me build some of our bow racks, uh, the big main display right down the middle, the one that gets mounted to the wall there uh, for um, me to actually do work on bows. And then we have uh, two more for crossbows and two more for consignment bows. People want to bring in their used equipment uh, and then uh, have me display, do all of the uh, advertising, if you will, both locally and online, uh, so that way you can sell it. And then, of course, I just take a small percentage and they get money towards a new bow, hopefully, if they want to purchase one from the shop. Um, I know I'm going to get asked. Uh, big Arrow Dealers, uh, we are a Gold Tip, Victory, and Easton dealer. We'll bring Black Eagle in on a distributor basis for those folks that are interested. Um, as well as maybe some Carbon Express, although I think carrying those four is really what I want to carry. Uh, in terms of the big bows, uh, we'll be carrying Athens and PSC, both the uh, upper line and the midline for PSC, and then Diamond and Bear. We're still trying to bring Matthews on board. They're playing a little bit of hardball, a little hard to get. Matthews, if you're watching this, please consider <laughs> adding Average Jack Archery there in Phillipsburg to your uh, dealer list. Would love to bring in Matthews. Of course, they're the number one selling bow on the market. Buy a landslide, and I've worked on a billion of them it seems like um in terms of uh what else we're doing with the upstairs uh and what we're bringing in you'll notice that we have slat board there along the wall uh so we're bringing in a kind of a hodgepodge of a little bit of everything a lot of the big name stuff you would expect uh to carry uh you know we're gonna have of course qad rest we're a dealer for them of course we're gonna have your you know cbe air mains your whisker biscuits we're gonna have broadheads of all different types both mechanical and fixed of course we're gonna be a magnus dealer wouldn't open up a shop without being a magnus dealer uh but then in the back corner there we're going to to have in that alcove area we're gonna have our tethered setup so we will actually have a tree thanks Mike for getting cutting a tree for us uh, we will have a tree segment actually mounted there to the wall down to the floor and you will actually be able to test out both the Phantom and the Phantom XL and the Predator platform and the Predator XL platform as well a lot of the other bells and whistles his straps recliners 11 millimeter ropes uh, Ropemans, all that sort of stuff we're going to have there on display as well for you to purchase. I also got a couple packs of Skeletors in. So right now we are in that about 90 to 95% of all the stock that I wanted to have, we currently now have, and it's now getting it on display. So once the floors are done, uh, we will be moving in all of the things that are on the other side of the building that are just kind of our storage facility, bring them into the main side of the building, uh, and then we'll be able to literally start that displaying process, start labeling, start UPC 
codes, start gaining actual inventory into our point of sale system, and then we'll be able to start working on equipment, start doing string cable changes, start having leagues, start having lessons, start having everything that comes along with an archery shop. So I've rambled on for way too long for what should have been just a two minute shop update video. Uh, if you have any questions about what's going on with the shop, you can uh, always drop a comment here on uh, YouTube. You can reach out to me on Facebook and Instagram. And as a brief side note, as it just dawned on me, uh, right now as of today, which is today is June something or other, 16th, um, we are getting ready to basically go into all hands on deck mode down at the shop and my ability to respond to emails, Facebook messages and Instagram messages is really dwindling um, just because the amount of time and energy that I actually have to devote to what I usually would do with just YouTube and not actually trying to run a physical shop. Um, so bear with me if you try to send me a message or an email or a question and I just either see it and don't get back to you uh, or just don't see it or don't get back to you at all. I apologize. Uh, I'm just absolutely completely swamped uh, head over tea kettle over here. Uh, and I'm just basically a one-man show when it comes to answering questions and technical things like that. So I know some people recently have been sending me stuff and I just haven't been able to get to it all. Uh, so if you try to send me anything before the shop opens on July 1st here 2022, it's a good chance that you're not going to hear back from me for a while, if at all. So I apologize in advance for that. Um, but if you do still want to try to ask questions up to that July 1st time frame or afterwards, do drop a comment here on YouTube, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Average Jack Archery, or Average Jack Archery at gmail.com. Hope you're able to get outside, enjoy the sport of archery, archery hunting if you so choose. Definitely enjoy God's beautiful creation. If you want to come babysit my kids, you can. <laughs> and we'll get to see you next time.